Langmuir's Simpson mechanism, also called as collision coalescence theory, also called as the wake mechanism, also called as the wake mechanism. कि मुझे कोई एक सरफेस चाहिए on which the condensation can happen quickly. The surface must attract moisture. The surface must attract more and more droplets so that the droplet becomes large and becomes heavy to fall down as rain. This mechanism operates for clouds which are warm, low level clouds and absence of ice crystals. तो इसमें आइस तो बन ही नहीं सकता फिर तो क्या इसमें रेनफॉल नहीं होगा तो इसका अलग मैकेनिज्म है इट ऑपरेट्स फॉर क्लाउड्स विच आर वॉर्म वॉर्म क्लाउड्स का मतलब क्या होता है क्लाउड्स विच आर ए टेम्परेचर अब द फ्रीजिंग पॉइंट 10, 15, 20 डिग्री से निग्रेट पे होगा इसमें आइस हो ही नहीं सकता इन द फर्स्ट प्लेस डाउन इन सच क्लाउड्स देर आर हाइग्रोस्कोपिक पार्टिकल्स तो आइस नहीं हुआ There are particles they call the hygroscopic. Hygroscopic which attract moisture. Hygroscopic generally salts होते हैं. Hygroscopic dust particles होते हैं. Dust particles even aerosols yes. Dust particles salts are hygroscopic particles. They are hygroscopic particles. Such particles attract moisture. They attract moisture and force condensation. They attract moisture and force कंडेंसेशन ठीक है नाउ सी एक डिफरेंस है एक डिफरेंस ये है वॉच हियर दे आर टू क्लाउड्स आइस क्रिस्टल एंड देर इज अल्ट पार्टिकल वॉट आइस क्रिस्टल डज इज आइस क्रिस्टल विल कंटिन्यूसली अट्रैक्ट वॉटर वेपर एंड विल कीप ऑन बिकमिंग लार्ज कंटिन्यूसली इट्स ऑलमोस्ट लाइक अ चेन रिएक्शन ये रुकेगा नहीं यू ट्रिगर इट ऑफ इल कीप ऑन कंडेंसेशन विल कीप ऑन बिकमिंग लार्ज साइज In case of salts, ये condensation continuous नहीं होता. It's like you know you have seen uh, uh, salt, right? It can become moist. But as थोड़ी है कि keep on attracting moisture पूरा पानीओं के बहन लगेगा. ऐसा थोड़ी होता है ऐसे. It become moist and it stops. So these particles they will attract vapor or droplets, but not indefinitely. So what happens is I have got water vapor and there are certain salt crystals, there are certain dust particles. So they will attract. they will condense but the condensation will not have indefinitely after condensation thoda bada ho gaya and stops thoda bada hua it stops so this will not cause rains automatically so along with these salt crystals what we need is turbulence so i have a cloud like okay, i have a cloud in the cloud there are water vapor there's no condensation right now and the cloud is there inside that there are salt crystals and maybe dust particles the dust particles will attract the vapor and there's condensation but the droplets formed are very very small droplets ho to gaya condensation but it is not a continuous chain reaction there are droplets but clouds abhi bhi rain nahi ho raha now what we require is turbulence ka matlab hai something should shake it when the shaking happens now what happens is the small small particles will collide when they collide they become larger when they become larger they start falling down now watch here when they fall down this is a hydraulics ka principle hai okay moving bodies ka principle hai anything which moves the pressure around it will start reducing engineering physics you know about bernoulli's principle this is the principle by which aeroplane flies hum bolte hai na ki when a train is passing very fast don't stand at the edge you will get sucked in why because When the train moves very fast the pressure around it is very very less so you will get pull inside the low pressure okay and that's how a plane flies the pressure over the wings becomes less because shape of the wings and this creates what's called as lift so when a particle has okay form this collision the collision they grow in size when they grow in size they become heavy when they become heavy they start falling and they fall at a very high speed is called as terminal velocity and because high speed the pressure around it is less so kya hoga more droplets will get pulled in more dro will get sucked in this droplet will now start becoming bigger as it becomes bigger it keeps on attracting more and more droplets and that's how it becomes large and fall down as rain so isme aapka two step involved hai one is the first steps first round condensation because of 
salt. The second stage is turbulence, where it's collision and the droplet becomes bigger and heavy, starts to fall. The third is while falling, it attracts more and more droplets. It becomes even much larger. So when precipitation happens, if we compare snowfall and rainfall, rainfall may droplets are much, much larger droplets. Jitna zada collisions hoga, utne bade bade droplets honge. That's why in thunderstorms, the droplets are large in, because in thunderstorms, it's tremendous amount of turbulence. What causes turbulence? Winds. Okay, winds can move and they can cause turbulence. Or you can force turbulence also using artificial mechanisms. So in case of warm clouds, I don't put ice crystals. What do I put? I'll put hygroscopic salt particles. And plus, I must force some amount of turbulence. That happens when aeroplane flies through the clouds or some strong winds are there which can cause collisions and that starts having causing rainfall. So the rainfall tropics may be artificial are not same as rainfall artificial in the areas of mid latitudes. High turbulence may the droplets are larger in size. Correct. So now write down as a part of the notes here. So I said there must be particles to attract plus turbulence. So now down two, three lines, write down. The sequence of events includes, number one, the first round condensation over hygroscopic nuclei like salts or dust particles. Number two, turbulence in the clouds that forces collision of the droplets and coalescence. What does it The fuse to become large. The turbulence hota hai na, isi ko bolte hai wake. You have seen wake, you know, when a jet flies, piche, have you seen the trail of water vapor condensation? Like, hota hai? Because clouds up there already have some droplets. So when a jet flies, because of strong turbulence, so piche hota hai condensation ho jata hai, with collision and coalescence. Us, us trail ko bolte hai wake. Or if you have seen, when a boat moves very fast, so piche, you'll have turbulence of white form, that's called as wake. So wake means essentially turbulence. Take okay? a turbulence and coalescence. The next stage is as the water droplets fall, they attract more droplets because of low pressure forming on fast moving bodies. So your turbulence and this low pressure together is called as the wake process. This results in droplets growing in size and falling as rain. The third point is, I said, as the droplets falls through the air, okay, it attracts more droplets because the pressure over fast moving bodies is less. So, by dust particles, it should be moisture. If there is no moisture, then it will not be condensation. So, I need, I need all the three, four conditions together. If dust particles are also there. If I have a magnet, I don't have a magnet, then what will I do? Dust particles and salt as that act as magnets. Sab mein hota hai moisture. Arre yaar, ab char condition bola maine. Okay, you need four conditions. You need moisture and you need enough of moisture. Then you need a hygroscopic surface. Then you need turbulence. And then you need the droplet to fall okay, and attract more. Okay, but sirf kitab hai to kya gyan aa gaya mere paas mein. Kitab hai to moisture hai. To samajhne ka bhi Level chahiye, I should have this. Samajne ke baad mein, I must be able to process also. So I need all of this for the answer to happen. The deserts mein kya hai? Dust particles to hai, but moisture hi nahi hai na. Agar moisture hoga, to deserts mein bhi rainfall hoga. So rains are possible anywhere, provided these conditions are met. So moving bodies, when they move fast, the pressure over them becomes less. It's a principle in physics called as Bernoulli's principle. The basic example is when you, when you turn on the fan, okay, you have sweat evaporating. Why? Because the air moving reduces pressure. So the sweat starts evaporating. You feel cool under the fan. Okay, science and technology, paper 3 GS. It's called as Bernoulli's principle. A moving body, around you will have low pressure.